Hello there and welcome back to Dukascopy TV. Patrizio Merchai is in the studio with me. He is Chief Strategist at Goni and C and together we will be discussing what's affecting market sentiment this week. Patrizio, welcome back to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if we look at the market sentiment at the moment, they're still reeling, really, from the rather hawkish statements from the FOMC last week. Um, Commenters are already looking ahead at the upcoming jobs data. Do you think US economic data will garner more significance as investors try to determine whether Yellen really can pull it off? Oh my God, that's already a lot of questions. <laughs> but uh, uh, first of all, I'm not a big fan of uh, the jobs data, or the job figures. Obviously, it's a big market mover but usually it doesn't give a lot of trend after the first day or, or, or training or anything. And the Fed, yes, we said the Fed has been hawkish. I mean, first of all, they confirmed that they would taper. All right, so uh, liquidity additions will be smaller and smaller, but they are not withdrawing liquidity. What has been really hawkish is the fact that by 2016, they would uh, they have been raising, I don't know if you can see it on this chart for, for, for 2016, they have been ra uh, raising their own expectations for, for rates. Uh, as far as the next year is concerned, it's just a matter of timing, you know, maybe it will be two or three months ahead of what consensus has been. So I would say, okay, there's a slight adjustment in rates, in the timing of rates, but it also shows the confidence uh, of the Fed, you know, confidence in a recovering economy, and I would say that's a positive for markets, that's positive for equity markets, that's positive for credit markets. Long bonds will be a bit under pressure still, but I mean, uh, we are not expecting anything uh, dramatic on them at this point. So I think it's rather a good confirmation of uh, a better economy, actually. Okay, well, we'll see whether, I guess the question is the sustainability of that and time will tell. But elsewhere, on a less positive note, perhaps, is if we look at the, the situation in Ukraine, it continues to be on the back burner. Now, some economists at VTP Capital, for example, are saying that Russia, the, the world's ninth largest economy, is set to contract for at least two quarters as the penalties for annexing Crimea really rattle the markets, in fact, uh, affect investor confidence and you know, increase borrowing costs. Do you think that the economic impact of this situation is going to be, is starting to be felt already? Well, there is an economic impact, but you also have to, to think about the fact that uh, Russia has been decelerating, has been uh, experiencing economic problems, mostly because of the lower price of uh, oil and so on. So they were already in a, in a difficult patch. You know, the long-term trend has been very positive, but they have been in a difficult patch. And obviously, sanctions will cause, as you, you mentioned, more uncertainty. Uh, can sanctions be uh, ramped up much, much higher? I don't think so, because they will start to backfire. But it's true anyway that, um, that the Russian economy is in a tough spot. So uh, th they w really have to deal with more uncertainty. And as you mentioned, it can be two quarters. Maybe it's, it, should be, it should be a bit longer, a bit, small, uh, a bit shorter. But I think that's part already of the, of the background. I think that's factored in. Of the bigger picture as well. Mm -hmm. Now, elsewhere, we also have um, the situation in China. Um, the PMI in Monday missed expectations. And it really fueled existing concerns about the economy, about policy, etc. And it also had a knock-on effect on some commodities and commodity currencies. Mm -hmm. um, can the sort of slowdown that we're seeing be attributed to something like the Chinese New Year, for example? Or do you think the alarm bells really should be ringing at this moment? Um, uh, once again, there's a lot of questions. I mean, uh, I think the New Year is over. I don't think that's really uh, part of, of the influence. Uh, China has been deceler decelerating. There's something, you, when you mentioned alarm bells, I mean, alarm bells have been ringing in the head of investors for, for quite a while now. Some, some investors are really uh, have a kind of psychosis about, uh, about China. Uh, they have been disappointing, they were, they were disappointed, they were used to, to see China growing in the double figure range. Now it's growing at 7%. Uh, I think really what, what's happening is that 
the government, the central government, wants the economy to be better balanced. To be better balanced, they have to do two things. They have to control fixed investment, infrastructure spending, which has been running away, and especially, which is linked to that, uh, financing. I think people who are just discovering China uh, probably will be disappointed still for one quarter or two. I would say I would very much prefer to have a better to have better balance in the Chinese economy, so to for for it to have a sustainable growth in the medium term. Mm -hmm. I think that's much positive. It means also it will mean a lot of consumer demand in China. I think also there are investment opportunities there. That we are very much out of China, or very cautious on China at this moment. But maybe we are looking at uh, ways of re-entering in the domestic sectors. So I would say yes, it needs patience. It needs a kind of a sober uh, outlook, but I think it's uh, not that worrying if we, if we look at it uh, medium term. Okay, well, there's nice to end on a slightly more positive note there. Um, thank you so much. There's plenty we could discuss this all for hours, I'm sure, but it's been a pleasure to have you in today, Pertichu. Thank you so much for your time. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. OK, well, that's all from Patrizio and myself for the moment. But make sure you keep clicking back to Ducoscopy TV for the early updates and exclusive interviews. Goodbye for now.